Hey everyone, today we're looking at the in-ground fig trees along the house here. I've noticed that some of them have taken some damage. And you can see this very clearly by the scratch test. I know it's probably a bit bright, at least on my screen it's definitely bright. But um, this is really dead. And even this part up here is pretty dead. It's, it's actually kind of, uh, looks like it's a little bit dried out. And this is not a good sign for this particular fig tree. Um, also, my Preto is showing some nice wear and tear as well. The wood here is very green and um, not looking good. You know, down here it looks all right. Even up here it looks okay. But I think above this point, everything is about dead. And this all goes back to the Thanksgiving day, Thanksgiving night low that we had. Um, it seems like every other tree in this location and every other tree I have is okay. But the Italian 258 and Preto is not, and it seems like those were the two that were hit the hardest. Probably because they have uh, had the weakest growth in terms of... They had a lot of growth that was not really hardened up in time. And you're definitely seeing that here. So because of that, my Italian 258 in the ground and my Preto in the ground are probably going to have some severe dieback this spring. Um, I'm hoping that they can survive through the winter time. If I cover the base, they can certainly reach sprout from the base. So all is not lost, but you know, this is part of what you need to do to learn, um, to experiment, to do all the things that I'm doing with my trees here in the ground. It's important to know why things have happened. Otherwise, you're just guessing. You're just throwing darts at a dartboard and uh, you don't know where the dartboard is. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know what the saying is. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we we uh, we tried all these different things like wilt proof and all that, but already we're seeing dieback because of that 13 degree crazy frost that we had Thanksgiving night. So, you know, that's something out of our control. You know, these trees were barely dormant at that time and letting them get hit with that kind of cold is just, it's a bit insane. So, um, you know, it's not really the tree's fault. It's not really my fault. I think it's out of our control, but at least we know that if, when these trees wake up in the spring, these have some dieback on them and that's the reason why. So anyway i just wanted to do that little video for you guys to kind of uh, explain and document this process so all right guys thank you so much take care